Okay, I'm getting ready to figure out how to do my injection. I wanted to do it at like seven every day and it's seven right now. So let me figure this stuff out. I need to wash my hands. So, here is the Gonal F dose vial right here. <sighs> Carefully pull tab off of pre-filled syringe of bacteriostatic water. Do not touch needle or allow it to touch any surface. Position needle in a straight upright position over the marked center of the rubber stopper on the vial. Insert the needle through the center circle while keeping it in straight. Slowly inject the water into the vial by pressing the syringe plunger. Do not shake. Check the liquid solution is clear. Do not use if it contains any particles. Okay, let me look. It's nice and clear. Yeah. Not gonna be able to see, but it's clear. Okay, it says it to allow the solution to adjust to room temperature prior to administering your injection. Pretty sure it is at room temperature because it's been at room temperature. Okay, so this is trash. All right. Wipe the rubber stopper of vial with an alcohol swab again. Move wrapper and carefully pull the needle cap. Do not touch the needle or allow it to touch any surface. Pretty sure I'm supposed to do an alcohol swab on my belly too before. So let me do that. And you're supposed to switch spots every one to minimize the discomfort of it if you're doing multiple. Okay, so firmly hold the vial and pull the needle cap off. Okay, so cap is off. Probably want to keep that for after. Firmly holding the vial of liquid on a flat surface, insert the needle through the marked center circle of the rubber stopper. Okay. While keeping the needle in the vial, lift the vial and turn it upside down so that the needle points towards the ceiling. The needle in the tip of the liquid, slowly pull back the plunger until the syringe fills to slightly more than the mark for your prescribed dose. Okay, so I'm supposed to have 150 today. So I'm gonna pull it back where it's a little bit more than that. Keeping the needle in the vial, slowly push the plunger to your prescribed dose to, to clear any air bubbles. Okay. Remove the syringe needle from the vial and recap the needle. Recap it. Why do you do that? Now it's in re now it's ready for administration. Okay. I see a little air bubble in there. I hope that doesn't matter. There's a little air bubble. The lighting here is terrible, but oh, whatever. Okay, you know what? I don't think I'm going to wait for Josh. I'm just going to do it. So, this is ready. So, okay. Uncap the syringe, inject the prescribed dose by your doctor. That's all it says to do. I've looked online and um, some people say you're supposed to keep it. Let me try to get better lighting. You're supposed to keep it in there for like 10. If you can see a mess, ignore. We just had dinner. You're supposed to hold it in there for like 10 seconds. 
Um, I'm just going to do it. Okay. Needle. Um, where did I swab? Somewhere in here. Okay, are we ready? Can we see? It's going to be fine, Jolene. It's not even a big deal. Okay. In. I think you're supposed to let go of your skin before you pull the needle out. Okay, cap on in the sharps container. Um, just so you have less chance of like it bleeding. I have just a tiny, tiny bit of blood. Um, and of course they sent like a bunch of little pads. So right there, just a little bit. Yay, okay. My first one's done. That really wasn't so bad. And I think probably when you jab yourself, that's gonna cause more bruising. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to just do it nice and slow like I just did. So there, first time, piece of cake. We'll see how I feel later. All right, I'll be back. I have a shot to do tomorrow and the next day. So I'll be back. Do it right now? Yeah. It's really simple, watch. It's nothing. Put it in your scar. No. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Are you trying to film it? I am filming it. I just put an air bubble in it. You want me to turn the office down? No, because I'll probably just like fast forward these. Well, I've done there, done there, so now I don't really know where to do. Maybe just like more in front. Okay, that's my last one that I have to do until my trigger. You're just gonna hear Henry running in the background and I look a mess today, but all we did was yard work all day. Um, <clears throat> I jump back on here to say some of my symptoms because I really haven't talked about that, I don't think. Um, so, okay, right now what I'm doing is I did five days of letrozole um, and then I've done two days of gonal F injections at 150 IU and then today is my last day of the gonal F and it was 75 IU. Um, and then I go in tomorrow morning for a follicle check to see how things are looking. Um, and then I'll just wait for him to tell me when I do the trigger shot, which I have that here. It's Ovidril. And he'll let me know when I'm supposed to do that, depending on how my follicles are looking and all that. Um, and then hopefully, if everything's looking good, we'll do this IUI. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what I've been doing. So as far as symptoms with letrozole, it's pretty much the same every time. Here, I'm not, my arm kind of hurts. I'm gonna see if I can set this down. Right here. Oh God, my boobs, sorry. <laughs> I feel like, so I've definitely gained a bit of weight. I think I've said that a few times now, but um, these medications and then just like sitting home, eating and not working out as much. Um, and so I feel like my boobs are just so big. <laughs> uh, Anyway, so I, Famara, I usually do, or Letrozole, it's the same thing. Um, but 
the last time I did it, I did pretty well with it. This time I did well with it too. Um, really the main side effects that I have from it are hot flashes, um, night sweats, uh, I get really bloated and headaches and a little bit moody and tired. That's about it. And then for the Gonal F, um, I've noticed I've definitely been really tired. Um, my throat has been like sore and scratchy and I, I thought, so we have a burn barrel here in my backyard and we were burning a couple days ago. So I thought that maybe what it is what it was, but Josh was around the smoke just as much as me and his throat wasn't hurting. So, um, I looked it up and that actually is a side effect of Gonal F, which is kind of weird is the sore throat. <laughs> Come here, puppy. Hi. Get up here. Come here. Get up here. Yeah, with your gross toy. Uh, so yeah, I've had a sore throat. I've been really tired. Um, the bloating's been off and on. This morning, I didn't feel very bloated at all. And then now, this evening, I'm super bloated. Um, and like I said, the sore throat. And then I was really nauseous this morning for a while and dizzy. Um, I haven't been very hungry. And I've definitely had a headache probably all three days off and on. No, 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 Henry. <laughs> um, and what else? Hot flashes still. Yeah, so that's been it. It hasn't been terrible. I was expecting for some reason to just have like terrible side effects and not be able to like leave the house, but I've been okay. Ew, <laughs> gross. Should I throw it? Okay, go, go. Love came out. Okay, but that's it. Uh, I will check back in tomorrow after my appointment and um, update from there. Okay. Oh, pretty flowers. Look at that sun flare in there. Oh, Look at your beautiful face. Your beautiful face. I'm gonna get in a hammock. But, I need to make sure there's no spiders. <laughs> Anyone else do this? Oops, spiders in there. Guess that could be funny if there ends up being a spider and then I freak out. Oh, I think Josh put this on twisted. I don't even know. Like, what the heck did he do? Does it go this way? I don't know what he did. All right. <sighs> I love it. Okay. Okay. Yes. What's more relaxing than just laying in the hammock. Still a little bit cold this morning. Hi, oh hi! Are you gonna get up here with me? <laughs> come on, get up here! Come on, come on! He's never got in the hammock, he's too scared. All right, oh, okay, okay, okay! All right, so I just got back from my doctor's appointment. I had a follicle check this morning um, after doing the gonal F and all of that. I'm gonna drop this on my face, I just know it. And, okay, seriously, stop attacking. Um, everything looked good. I was a little bit nervous that it didn't work because I, um, I didn't feel like super bloated this morning, which is what I was expecting. <laughs> Smelling me underneath there, hi baby. But she said everything looked good. My uterine lining looked perfect. Um, I had three follicles on one side, two or three on the other. I only had one that was um, just about fully mature. It was 16.9 millimeters and 17 millimeters is mature. So um, I took an ovulation test yesterday and it was high. I took one this morning and it was high. Um, I haven't gotten like a peak reading yet, but um, so I am just waiting for the nurse to call me back and let me know what the doctor wants to do. Um, 
if I should trigger yet or if I should trigger in a couple days or what. So um, she said usually they like to see at least two follicles or not even at least two follicles. I like, like ideally they would have two follicles. Um, and since I only have the one right now, um, that's almost fully mature, I'm not really sure. So I will be back on later to let you know what the plan is for the next couple days. Super quick update. Um, my doctor got back to me and actually ended up saying that I was um, I borderline over stim, so like too much stimulation, too many meds. Um, so I don't remember if I said this before or not, but a, f a mature follicle is 17 millimeters. I um, yesterday had one that was 16.9, one that was 16, and one that was 14. Um, so the plan is to trigger tonight and then do the IUI on Thursday. Um, but so likely it will turn out that I'll have three mature follicles by the time we do the IUI. So my doctor wanted to make sure that we were okay with knowing that, um, that ups our chances of having like twins or multiples by quite a bit. So, <laughs> um, but we're just going for it because this is like the best chance we've had so far. And I'm really hoping that, ha so I've done two other IUIs, both with two follicles and neither of them worked. So maybe having three follicles, just one will work, hopefully. That's what I need. Um, yeah, so that's the update. So I will get back on here probably to show me doing the trigger shot, which I have to do at 1130 p.m. tonight. So I'm probably gonna have to set my alarm and get up because I am really tired today. So I'm probably not gonna be able to stay up that late. So I'll be back. And I know it looks like the same day because I always look the same and I'm wearing the same sweater, but it's the next day. I love that dog so much. <laughs> He's so weird. Okay, it's the morning of our third IUI and we're just getting ready to leave in a minute. I just wanted to put on record how not bloated I am because I don't know why, I just think it's really weird. I'm always bloated and especially when I do like meds and stuff, I'm not bloated, like, at all. That would be nice if it would just stay that way. But I bet later today I will be really bloated because that has happened the last couple times so I'll show you the difference. Okay. I'm a little nervous. Let's go see. Let's go see what's up. Do you need me to zoom in or anything? <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to figure this out. Well, I got your whole body. You want to? Okay, IUI number three is done. I'm a little bit freaking out because she said I definitely have three follicles, possibly a fourth, but probably not a fourth. But maybe a fourth, but probably not. Anyway, so it's done. It's like inclined, but you can't really tell. 
Just got back home from the IUI and instant bloat. Like instant, it's so weird. So I'm gonna show you. Remember how I looked this morning? Isn't that so weird? I don't even understand. Oh, whatever. Um, so yeah, I, let me turn this around. Now I'm gonna just relax to the max, lay on the couch and do nothing. Um, the IUI went good, so I had, all right, so I got to the appointment. <laughs> Let me sit with my puppy. Um, I was really, I am so surprised that before you go in for the procedure that they don't do um, an ultrasound right before it. Um, and that they just assume that you have as many follicles as you had last time and everything because I don't know that just makes me like I don't understand because I've read stories online where people have gone in and they had like two follicles and then they Go back and there was actually like four and they just didn't see the other ones and stuff like that So anyway, I went in assuming that she was gonna do um, an ultrasound and so um, we sat down and like show me paperwork and stuff and I was like are you gonna do another ultrasound? She's like no, and I'm like what? You're not what do you mean like? What if I have like five follicles and she's like Why would you think that and I'm like well, I don't know and she's like well How when was your last ultrasound and it was on Monday and today is Thursday, so it's been a few days and so um she asked me what I had there and I told her what I remembered and she's like, okay, well, let me go <laughs> Let me go look at your other stuff. And I'm like, yeah, will you please because like if we have If I had, you know, anyway, I was just stressing about <laughs> so, so she went and got my paperwork and said that I had three for sure possibly a fourth but the fourth one was when I was in on Monday was only measuring a 12 or 12.5 and so by now it probably isn't fully mature so there's a slight chance that there's a fourth one but for sure probably three so I'm like what the heck because I when we went in I told Josh if I have anything more than a three I am not doing it like the chances are way too high to have multiples if you have more than three follicles when you do it um so we did it <laughs> Um, so at least, I mean, I know I have three, maybe a fourth, but she said that's really unlikely to have the fourth be that mature within just three days. So I'm just listening to her and she, that's what she said. So, um, I guess I just have to trust her and that she knows and that she wouldn't have allowed me to do it if she thought, uh, that there was like too high of a chance of me to have multiple babies and for it to be unsafe, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so the actual procedure itself was fine, pretty much like all the other times. This was a different doctor doing it though. Um, I was a little bit more crampy this time, um, like when she initially, like after she put the speculum in and did the swab and all that stuff, when she initially went in with the catheter, I like actually jumped a little bit, I was like, oh! <laughs> And she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. So um, my other doctor, I think, was just a little more gentle. Like, she was a little slower, and she would ask me if I was crampy, and then she would, like, back off a little bit and then slowly put it in more. This one just... So, yeah, it was a little bit more uncomfortable, but it wasn't bad. It was fine. And same thing as the other ones. Um, it only took, like, two minutes, maybe three minutes at the most. And then... This doctor had me lay there only for 15 minutes and not an hour like my other doctor did. Uh, so, yeah. Now I just feel really tired and I'm a little bit crampy and bloated like I said. So I have no plans the rest of the day. I'm supposed to go shoot a house. Um, but I'm just going to do it tomorrow because I just want to relax. So my plans are to lay on this couch and Josh downloaded like a ton of seasons of The Voice for me, so I'm just gonna lay here and watch The Voice and put this video together so that I can put it up. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, third IUI, definitely three good follicles, um, possibly a fourth, most likely just three. 
um his counts were all really really great i think this was the most he's ever had i forgot to take a picture of the paper because they never give it to you um to take home but i think he he usually has like 120 sperm something like that um and that's just total not i'm not giving you the numbers for the motility and all that because i don't remember but it was it was all totally good and within normal um but he usually has about 120 million total count and this time it was like 148 so that's good that's more to work with um yeah so cross your fingers for me hopefully this works and i don't have to do anything else again um i'm scheduled for a blood test on the fourth to check if i'm pregnant or not um so that's actually mandatory so if you've watched my videos you know that i don't test anymore because it just drives me crazy um i think the last iui i actually did end up testing just because I was having some weird bleeding and it ended up just being my period, but like I had just had a weird month. Like I had hardly any blood and then I would have nothing for a day and then a little bit and then nothing for a couple days and a little. So my period for whatever reason, probably just the medicine I was on messed my cycle up. So I did test a couple times last month because I just, it was so strange that I thought, and it was different for me that I thought maybe I was pregnant, but I wasn't. Um, yeah, but I asked them, I said, I don't test, I'm not a tester, so do I have to come in for the blood test? Um, because, like, I don't really need anything to be like, hey, you're not pregnant, when I can obviously see that I'm not, you know? Um, and they said that they actually, they do require it, especially if I'm going forth with any other treatments after this, if it doesn't work. Um, they have to be 100% sure that I'm not pregnant because they're not going to start me on any medications for any other treatments unless they make sure I'm not. So... I have to go in on the 4th um, for the blood test and we'll see what happens. I'm really hoping that this is it. So wait, one more thing really fast. I've kind of done everything totally different this IUI. The last two, I was like super strict with like my eating and my caffeine intake and like just stressing about everything. Um, and I didn't really tell anyone when I was doing it until after we had done it and all that stuff. Well, this time I've kind of just been like, you know what, it's either gonna work or it's not. So if I want some coffee, I'll have some. I'm not right now, cause you're not supposed to like after you do it, but like the last few days I had a coffee. I even had some soda, which I never drink soda. So I've just been doing the complete opposite. Um, and maybe it will work this time. I've just been kind of doing whatever I want. And also this one, I've been sharing everything like as I'm doing it. So everybody's gonna know that I'm doing it right now and I'm in the wait right now. And in two weeks I will know um just doing it all different this time because if this doesn't work this is most likely our last one and then we'll be moving on to ivf so all right that's it i'm gonna go